All right, we are in the kitchen of deliciousness this morning, and we're making something that I haven't eaten in quite some time, but I'm really excited to try this particular variation. We got with us uh, private chef and lambassador, uh, Naledi Dorna, who's come all the way from Jersey to join us and show us how to make her speciality sheep trotters with an Asian, Asian twist. And if you've never tried sheep trotters before, uh, you might be pleasantly surprised after what you're about to see. Uh, the secret here is how long to cook it. You want to slow let it do its thing so that those flavors are in there and the meat is nice and tender. So, Uzwaga, Yes. You're taking yes. us way back home here. Home, home, home. Pella, it's African mud. Uh -huh. So, we want to do something where Africa meets Asia. So, my sheep trotters today are inspired by the Asian cuisine, but it's also still a bit of Africa. Yeah. Yes. What, what would you call it? Get get But then, how do you fancy it up? Like, get takwana yang <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's get to making it. What do we need first? All right, first of all? we have our sheep trotters here. Mm -hmm. We have our stock. We have onion flakes. We have bay leaves. We have any seeds. These mm -hmm. are what we are starting with. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to be cooking it first in the pressure cooker, mm -hmm. and then from there we'll move on to the stove top. Okay. All and right. is it as simple as just popping? Well, you can show yes, us how to do it. Obviously, let's, let's do that. Um, it's just that simple. There we go. So, so we're going to start with the trotters. There's literally nothing in here. Nice and cleaned we put up. The trotters in there. Then we add all our spices. So it's the onion flakes, the bay leaves, and the aniseed. Excellent. Then we add our stock. Mm -hmm. And it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. In and your then pressure cooker, go high. The pressure cooker, go high. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a pressure cooker, though, you're more than welcome to cook on the stovetop. It will just take a bit longer. Okay, so yeah. when you're on the stovetop, are you using a specific, particular kind of pot, a cast iron pot, uh, stainless steel? It doesn't matter. Well, in, in our homes, we cook with the three-legged pots. Yeah, well, come so, yes, come yeah. so that's what you can cook with. Oh, okay. yeah, it gives it a bit of smokiness as well. Do you want to add something on top of the lid just to apply the pressure so that you know all of it stays? No, in no, no. Matter? Remember, now, if you're cooking on stovetop or open fire, you'll just need to keep refilling with hot water. Okay. Refill with hot water. Unlike where, with the pressure cooker, yeah. that water, that stock will just be there. Fantastic. I hear yeah. something shishiling there. Over to pot. this side. What do we have here? So these we've so now so now we transfer the sheep trotters mm -hmm. from the um, pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put it in a stove. On can our I stove after top. how long? After forty-five minutes. After forty-five minutes yes, in the pressure in cooker, the pressure you can cooker. already. Yeah, I can smell, smell that, that star anise. Right. Mm -hmm. So now, after we've transferred to that onto the into the pot, we're going to put a bit of oil and then we're gonna, gonna put our trotters in there. Excellent. Now comes the Asian twist to it. Uh -huh. So we're going to add a bit of chili flakes. Lovely. We're going to add some soy sauce. Uh -huh. Obviously this is the Asian persuasion. Yes. And then the classic combination. Ginger and garlic. And garlic. Okay. So by this time, your kitchen should be smelling absolutely can't you smell that Just already? <sighs> oh, wow. Wow, beautiful. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. And you've got to be patient when you're making this kind of recipe. Let it no, you slowly do its thing. Don't try and rush it. The deliciousness will prove worthy of the time. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Now we're going to add, this is the broth. Mm -hmm. from the pressure cooker. Oh. So we're going to add it back onto that. Of course, yes. So obviously there would have been a lot of liquid that would have cooked over time. And the, and the flavors are all in there. You all don't want to lose that. Uh -huh. It's awesome, trust me. Okay. You at home can SMS the keyword lamb to 33728 so that we send you a link to the recipe and of course an ingredients list so that you can make your own Asian inspired sheep trotters as we celebrate Africa Month and we are being inspired by cooking and cuisine that comes from the African continent. Twisting it up a little bit today, of course. Can I just take you through what we're going to serve this yes, way? Yes, please. So what I've done, um, I've cooked up some, what we call mabele, which is sorghum, mm -hmm. but it's in a butternut puree. So this is also infused with a bit of vegetables. Wow. So what I did, it's pure, it pureed the butternut, yes. put it in a pot, left it to boil, added a, a bit of boiling water as well, mm -hmm. and then I let it boil. Then what I did is also took what we call madila or inkomazi. Mm -hmm. Then you mix it with that sorghum on the side in a separate bowl. Okay, just, just with sorghum as it is? Yeah? As it is. Okay. 
so that it becomes sort of like a paste. Yes. Then we're gonna then we take that mixture uh -huh. and we add it to the butternut puree and we mix. And oh mix. my word! So it gives that sort of porridge. So you can have it as a porridge as well. Mm. Then you mix. But to thicken it, to make it even tougher, you add more sorghum. Now the sorghum on its own without the mixture of the... Yes, yes, the dry oh, sorghum. Yes, the dry sorghum. Oh, then wow. Okay, I tell you what. Let's have product. a look at that quickly. This is what it looks like, and this is how we made it. So let's look at this. So there you have it, SMS lamb to 33728 and then we're feta on top. Oh, I'm just garnishing with spring onion mm -hmm. and toasted sesame seeds. Lovely stuff. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of coarse salt on there. Oh, well. look at that. Cha! How awesome are the colors though? They're absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to taste this. SMS lamb to 33728. Uh, private chef Naledi Dona. <laughs> beautiful stuff as we're celebrating Africa Month. Thank you very much, my Thank sister. You this is wonderful. You've taken me. me back home and this has been a I'm delicious glad journey. I'm taking you on that journey.